everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So today I am going to take you food shopping with me. We're gonna to go to Asda, possibly Aldi in Iceland as well, just to pick up as much stuff as possible. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to show you what I eat in a day, like a realistic day of eating. This video is also a collaboration with the lovely Juliet Dudley. Her channel is Being Mrs Dudley. Now she's fairly new to YouTube but she is doing so well. She has loads of different videos on her channel. She has a lot of hauls like shopping hauls, advice videos, parenting videos, just loads and loads of different stuff. It is a great channel so please do go check her out after you've watched this video because she is going to be doing the same thing, what I eat in a day and like her food shop. So yes, let's go to the shops. We're taking the kids with us, obviously we have to, and they hate food shopping, so I'm just gonna warn you. They're already moaning. I can hear them putting their shoes on, just whinging about going shopping. So this is gonna be fun. How do you feel about going shopping? I feel fun. No! No. It's gonna be fun. This is what we've got so far. £9.41, I think we're doing quite well. I love Asda. Stay away from the naughty stuff. Yes. Stay away. We have to get some peanut butter. I might make some peanut butter chocolate cups. That's the peanut butter is vegan. So I'm gonna get that one. We get some of these lentils as well because they're really nice on top of like a salad or something. And then this couscous is my favourite. The Ainsley tomato and chili. And also they do like little soups as well, which are really easy to have for lunch. Butternut squash that one is got some corn bits. Ava has these ham slices in her pat lunch, like in a sandwich, and she also loves these corn picnic eggs as well, and I really like them, they're yummy. Um, also, I got myself some of this hazelnut drink, so that's a vegan drink, you can have that with your cereal instead of milk, and also this outro soya like yogurt, I love that on granola, so nice. I love Asda's vegan um, like veggie and free farm section. They do so much stuff. So this is all their corn bits. We usually get the mince for like a spaghetti cool. bolognese. Their chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? Chicken nuggets. Um, and their sausages, what else they do? So they have their own range as well, like vegetable sausages. We normally get the corn ones still, because that's the ones the kids like. But look at them, 12 sweet potato for laffles. Yeah, it's really loads of really yummy stuff. These are quite nice. I've had this popcorn chicken before as well. It's quite nice. But loves this cottage pie as well. Cottage pie is fabulous. And these, we have these for dinner sometimes. <laughs> the chicken and bacon style lattices. Lattices are nice. rubbish. They're not. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get the pie. So have like a pie and mash, and they do these sausage rolls. So tasty. So there's loads of like fake meaty stuff that's actually really nice. These are the nuggets that the kids like. And they're just, they're to me, they just taste like McDonald's nuggets. These gammon steaks are also really yummy as well. I decided to make some peanut butter and chocolate cups tonight. So then I've got them ready for if I get like a craving tonight, I want something naughty, I can have these instead of having like some dairy milk whole nut or something. And then it can also be a snack for tomorrow night as well. So I'm going to show you how I make them. The ingredients that I've got. I've got this peanut butter from Asda. I've got this dark chocolate. It's a Dr. Uh, how do you say that? I don't know. It's a Dr. Ertka, I think uh, you say. Uh, yeah. yeah. So Dr. Ertka, I can't. Dr. Ertka dark chocolate. Um, and I'm going to add some maple and I've got some coconut shavings. You can use coconut oil as well though, but I'm just going to add them. So I'm going to melt the chocolate first and then put that in the freezer. Then I'm going to melt the peanut butter as well. And that's when I'm going to add these two things to the peanut butter. Put that on top once the chocolate has gone hard and then add some more of the melted chocolate on top as well. Oh, also I've got this mold here, which is what they're going to go on. So they'll look like little Reese's cups. I'm so excited. I'm going to, I've got in my pyjamas. <laughs> I'm going to melt the peanut butter now. So I've just added some water to the pan and I'll put in the bowl. I don't know how much, I'm going to just guess. Hello, good morning. 
morning, it is Monday now and I'm about to have breakfast. I've just dropped the kids off to school, come home and I'm starving. So this morning I'm gonna have something I've not actually had before, just a different variation of what I normally have. So I normally just have granola, but I bought this new granola, cherry, hazelnut, and Belgium chocolate granola. Ooh. I don't personally track my calories or my macros or anything like that. I kind of just eat things that I like to eat. I'm not too unhealthy. I won't snack on loads of chocolate and crisps or anything. I'm gonna have this granola and I'm gonna have it with, I've got two options. I think I know what one I'm gonna go for. So yesterday, I think I showed you, I bought this hazelnut milk or the Outpro soya. And this is the vanilla flavor. I just tasted a bit of the milk and it was nice but I think this morning I just fancy I fancy having it with this and then with that milk I can make like a nice hot chocolate with it and stuff I might have one later I just want to quickly show you as well what the peanut butter cups look like <laughs> yummy they, I had one last night as well and they taste really good so I'm going to make my breakfast and with my breakfast I normally try and have a piece of fruit I'm going to have an orange today with it and also I make myself like a tea and lately I've been having these tea plus teas so they've got like loads of vitamins in them as well and they do lots of different flavors so this is apple and blackcurrant um, and that is for cleansing this one is defense which is orange and blueberry I love this flavor it smells so good have one of them with it as well I've got a big breakfast going on so I'm gonna make that So that is breakfast. This granola is really yummy. I'm really happy I got this one. It's so good. I normally would add like some blueberries on top, but I just looked in the fridge and the blueberries are out of date by like three days. And they go really squishy and mushy, don't they? So I'm not up for that. <laughs> when I get back from the gym, I will be thinking about having lunch. So yeah, I'll speak to you then. So I'm back from the gym now and I'm gonna have lunch. Now I have a few different things for lunch. Today, I'm gonna have some couscous. I love this couscous so much. It's the Ainsley Harriet tomato and chilli. It's so easy to make. It's just the quickest lunch. And it's not too bad for you either. And with that, I'll have another piece of fruit. Probably an orange. Because I've not got anything else. So I'm going to have to have an orange. And then I'll try and have like a full glass of water with it as well. I'm going to make this couscous now. I'll show you how to make it. It's so easy. I'm gonna eat my lunch now, and if I have a snack for pick the kids up from school, then I will let you know. These little peanut butter chocolate cups are just calling my name. I'm just sitting in the fridge going, Courtney, eat me. So I'm gonna have one. It's nearly two o'clock now, and I'm feeling a bit peckish, so I'm gonna have a handful of walnuts. Are they walnuts? Yeah, a handful of walnuts. I'm back from the school run, and I'm gonna just have a quick snack. I'm literally just gonna have some carrots and hummus, and then I'll probably put a pitter in to have with the hummus as well. And for Leo, I'm just making a bagel thin with Marmite. Because he is obsessed with Marmite. I'll see you again for dinner. And then I think we're going to make like a katsu curry type thing. Oh, I'm really hungry for that already. But I'm going to have carrots. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not lying. I would normally have like a carrot and hummus snack. Ava's at gymnastics. So I've got to pick her up in about an hour. So I don't want anything big but I might make myself tea anyway that is it and I'll see you at dinner time I wanted to mention as well that I haven't said is I do take some supplements as well where I am a vegetarian I don't eat meat I think it's important that I take supplements more so than somebody was to eat meat because there's certain things that obviously I'm not getting that people who eat meat would get so this is a b12 complex it's backwards is that backwards why is it backwards is that what normally happens Anyway, that one's just from Holland and Barrett, and I actually got that when it was in the sale, so it was like a pound. I also have this calcium one as well, so another good one. I also take primrose oil, that just helps with my hormones. And oh, it's crazy time because Zach's just got in, so now the dog's going crazy. Leo's got water. The dog's barking! He's eating carrot snacks. 
from me. Yeah, primrose oil. That is just for like my hormones. That helps with my monthly cycle. So yeah, that is all my vitamins. So I have started to prep dinner. The kids are going to bed now. They just had soup for dinner because we are having a curry and the kids don't eat curry. So we gave them soup and we're going to put them to bed and then finish off making dinner. So we are having a curry. Yeah, so I've prepped the veg. I'm going to have sweet potatoes, peppers and mushrooms in it. And then I've just got a sauce. We're just having sauce from a jar today. We're not being fancy and making our own. I know you get jar snobs that are probably going to hate me for this. But... I have no excuse. I just can't be bothered to make my own sauce. We do sometimes, and we use coconut milk and spices and stuff, but today we've been lazy, and we're using a katsu jar sauce, um, and then we're just going to have it with some rice. So once that is made, I'll show you what it looks like. This is the curry all finished. Looks <gasps> yummy. The rice is by um, Le Uncle Benny. <laughs> It's Uncle Ben's rice. I'm going to eat my dinner now and then I might have a little snacky snack later. But I'm going to finish the video here and if I had a little snack, I'll just add a little mm. snippet of it in the end. So that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is a collaboration with the lovely Mrs. Dudley. Her channel is Being Mrs. Dudley and I will link it in the description box. So please go check her video out. She is a lovely, lovely lady. I follow her on Instagram as well and she updates on there all the time. So I'll put her Instagram in the description as well so you can go follow her on there too. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye. So it is 20 past nine and I've decided to have a peppermint tea, which is good. Don't get so close. I've got a red nose there. Is that a spot on my nose? Why is it so red? Um, I've decided to have, can you stop panning? Thank you, please don't be Okay, go on. I've decided to have a peppermint tea. This is good. People want to see the pen. This video is already about 20 minutes okay, long anyway, on, stop. Go on, go on, go. A I don't know. Decided to have a peppermint tea and one of my little peanut butter Reese's. It's a really bad angle for me. Peanut butter Reese's? No. It's like that though, isn't it? It's a peanut butter cup. Why do you build me a peanut butter cup? <laughs> oh, I sort of what you're telling you. You're just trying to get in my videos. Get off! Turn it off. You're not out of my video. People start watching them when you come on. Oh my god, they do. <laughs>